welcome you back to my channel, Knowledge Work Nexus. Today we are going to have a pretty long video. I'll put some uh, links in the description below to um, the times, but I want to do a pretty deep dive into the new Readwise Reader. Um, they've just opened it up for a more public beta. We are allowed to share screen recordings and shots with you, um, although I will give it a good caveat that the development is still very, very active. Um, and so you, what you see when you finally log in might be different than what I've recorded here. And I'll do my best to keep some other videos on the channel updated so that you can see all the changes. Um, but for um, right now, I do want to get this out just so there's a pretty good guide out there for the world. So um, I'm actually going to start at the traditional readwise.io database. Um, and if you aren't subscribed to Readwise, I will put a link uh, right up above my head here, um, as well as in the description below where you can use uh, my affiliate link and you can get actually a double length trial at 60 days instead of 30 days. Um, and obviously if you do keep your subscription, I get a little fee for that. So thank you for that. Um, and if you don't like affiliate links, I get that too. That's fine. Um, but I will provide that in case you want to help support me um, and start to use the tool. So the reason I'm starting here is because um, there are really two ways to use Readwise after you add content to it. And while the bulk of this conversation is going to be about how we get content into Readwise and then how do we how we read it once we're in Readwise, um, I do want to highlight just the how you read it. And the first way is through the web app. And so the first thing that you need to do is you do need to log into your Readwise account in the web browser that you're going to use um, in order to use Readwise so that you can then access um, the Readwise app. And I was in the settings there. So you can actually access the app, which is this. Um, and that address is just read.readwise.io once you um, get into the tool and once you're in the beta. Um, but again, you do have to log in first here at Readwise. While you're here, I'm actually going to show you something else that I think will be really beneficial to you. I'll put a link to an article um, in the description below where I actually walk through this step by step. But you'll want to actually add other email addresses that you might be forwarding things to. So if you have a work email and a personal email, you only have one of those by default attached to your Readwise account. So you'll want to add other email addresses um, because it'll be a little bit easier to add things to Readwise. I'll show you two different ways to do it, but I just think it's easier if you're just always forwarding from known accounts. Um, so if you go into your dashboard and you go to import and you come down here to email, email import, and you click on import, there's an area here where you can add a different add additional email addresses. So you can see I already have um, three associated email addresses with my account, but if I wanted to add another address, I could type it right here and click add, and it is that simple. Once you do that, um, you can actually send things to Readwise um, from any of those connected accounts just by emailing it to read at readwise.io. And I'm going to show you that in full in full glory here in just a second. Um, there is a, a unique email address that you have in your Readwise account that you can use from a non-associated address. I just think this is easier. I'd rather do the one-time setup and then only have to remember read at readwise.io than the more sort of funky address, but I'll show you the benefit of that here in a second as well. So now we're going to talk about how do I um, how do I use the new reader to actually read things, um, and I'm to a pretty good process. I have 387 things in here, so I probably haven't read in depth for a couple of days. Um, I I do subscribe to a lot of e email newsletters. I save a lot of pages off the internet um, into Readwise, and so I usually use them here to look at that. So I'm just going to show you quickly how you can quick filter things um, in your Readwise inbox. Um, and so if you'll notice right now, um, there's a, a tall blue line here on this item, and there's also a blue dot on it. So let me talk about what those two things mean. The long blue line means this is the item that if I were to hit one of the keyboard shortcuts that we're going to go through, that's the item that that would get applied to. The little dot means that I have not opened this item. If I open the item, there it is, I can see it. I can actually hit my keyboard shortcut here if I wanted to do that, um, which I think I will, and I'm going to delete this. So I'm just going to hit D to delete it, and now it's gone. Um, the one thing I think it's important to remember is if you do have any highlights saved in an article, you have to archive it. You cannot delete it. 
there's a something bad going on at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Um, my thoughts and prayers are with those folks, but I'm going to say delete. I don't want to read that. I thought my little line was up here. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, well, I can get that article back because I actually know what I what I missed. So now let's say I want to go through here and I want to add some things to my reading list. So I have um, three tags to add to different reading lists. Um, one of them is S, and that is for short list, and that's this little starred list over here. Um, and so if I want to add something to my short list, meaning I want to read it pretty quickly, probably today, um, then I'll hit S to add it to my short list. If I know I want to read it, but I'm not sure when I want to get to it, then I could hit L for later. And if I want to archive it because I want it and I want it to be available in my searches, but I don't necessarily want to um, read it right now, I hit E for archive. So let's see that in action. So this article, I just saved it. So I'm going to hit S for shortlist. Um, and I also just saved this one. So I'm going to hit S for shortlist. This, I haven't been reading this daily. So I'm going to say D. Um, not really interested in this. Um, I'm going to delete S for sidebar. Um, or for shortlist, sorry. And then D. And then this I might want to read later, but I'm going to hit archive. Um, this also looks kind of interesting, but it's not something I want to read immediately. So I'm going to hit L for later. So you can see that these are all getting sort of filed. So let's go look at those each of those individual lists. So if I hit number eight for my short list, anything that's over on this left sidebar has a number associated with it. You can see right there. So I can just hit that number to go to it. And you can see these are the three things that I just sent to my short list. Okay, and I've got 84 items on my short list. I have not been keeping up with my short list daily reading. I've got a couple of really long PDFs in here that I'm trying to get through and I keep getting stuck at them. Um, I can hit escape to go back to my library. And then if I wanna look at later, I can come over here and we can see that anti-nuclear activist article is added to my later. So that is definitely something I can see. My short list is also here. If you notice right here, you can also see that. Um, so I can also see things that are in my short list. Um, and then my archive is here and you can see this read like a book from Marketing Brew is here and you can still see it has that blue dot because I never opened it. So that's the sort of quick way to just sort your content out once it gets into Reader so that you can quickly triage things to decide what you wanna do. And I'm gonna hit escape to go back to my library. Escape always takes you back to your library from anywhere. So now that we've done sort of the, the basic things of Reader, I'll come back in, towards the end of this video and I will show you how to actually interact with a piece of a, an article. Um, but for now, let's actually look how we get content into Readwise. So down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the Readwise app, um, web app, there is an apps button. And if you click that, there we go, we'll get off of that screen, you'll see a whole lot of items that you have um, available to you in order to add items to Readwise. Um, and so you can see right here, I've got this custom email address. This is if I want to um, import newsletters into my own feed. And I'll, I'm gonna blank these out in the actual video so you can't see mine, but you will have ones in yours. So if you wanna subscribe to newsletters, um, from your, with your actual Readwise email address, you can come here to get that and you could go change all your subscriptions. Um, I actually just left mine at my personal email address and I have a filter set up on Gmail, which I'll walk you through in a second, that's actually just forwarding everything and then deleting it so in Gmail. So it's still in my Gmail if I want it, but I don't have to um, go search for it. Um, you'll also be able to download the Readwise highlighter, um, which I, recommend. I will show you that here in a second. In fact, we'll just go ahead and make sure we've got this installed. They've been doing some updates on this too. So this will be good to make sure. Yep, looks like I do have it installed. Okay. Um, and then you might also want to have the um, Android and the iOS links. They are right there. And then notice we can also upload files. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. You could come here and do it, but it's actually way easier to not. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So we'll escape to get back to our library again. Okay. So now let's look at some of the ways we actually get content into Readwise. So one of the most common things you're going to be doing is you're reading content on the web. Um, here is an article of mine on Medium, and I'll put a link below to this article because it actually talks a little bit about how I use Readwise um, to get to Inbox Zero now. 
and I have purposefully let my inbox sort of pile up so that I can show you um, exactly what this process looks like. Um, and let's say I wanna save this to Readwise. I don't have time to read it right now. Somebody sent it to me in chat or something, but I wanna read it. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna do save page to reader. And so now when I come back into reader, I could either open it here um, or if I wanna auto highlight, I can come down here. Let's make sure this works. Yeah, I can actually highlight while I'm on it. And I can tag a note right from here. So I'm gonna delete that highlight because I don't wanna save it. But when you do hit that save page to reader, it brings up this page. And if you wanna auto highlight, tag, decide where you wanna put it, any of those things, you can do that right from the browser um, and right from the page that you're on. They've been making some active updates to this. I didn't see anything in Daniel's last update about changes to this. Um, it's been pretty stable for a couple of weeks, but they're making updates regularly. So just remember, might change a little bit, come back or ask, shoot me a question. I'll be happy to try to explain to you what, what I think is happening right now. Um, so the so that is content from the web and you can see there's that article and let's see how pretty that renders in here. I actually prefer reading in Readwise than pretty much anywhere else. Um, so now I can um, go through the article here just using my arrows on my keyboard to navigate and you'll see that little blue bar. The great thing about this um, little blue bar is it also acts like a tagging feature. Um, so if I wanted to tag, say, this paragraph, I just hit T, it'll automatically highlight it for me, and then I can tag this with systems thinking, one of my frequent tabs. So it's a, a really nice experience for reading. It's really seamless, really, really easy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shortlist this now. I think that works, there we go. So it's in my shortlist. I can read it later or I can archive it or whatever I wanna do with it later. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is how we get emails into Readwise. So I'm gonna come over here to my Gmail account. And um, let's say that this article from Coinbase, this is not something that I usually would save to Readwise, but just right here, right now, I wanna save it to Readwise. So I can come down here and hit forward because I don't have time to read it right now, but I do wanna read it. And I can just type, because this is an email address associated with my Readwise account from what we did at the beginning of the video, I can just type read at readwise.io and then send it, and I'll go ahead and archive it as well. Let's go ahead and, and I'll show you here quickly how I actually scan through my inbox. So uh, I've read this one, I'm gonna shift three to delete it. Um, this is a newsletter that I just started getting and I might actually want to just have this automatically forwarded to Readwise. So the way I do that here in Gmail is click the three dots, do filter messages like this, and then it'll pull up this address and I'm gonna create a filter and I wanna forward it to, and I wanna forward it to read at readwise.io. Now do remember you have to add that as a forwarding address first um, and for some weird reason, for about seven days, you'll see this little banner at the top of your Gmail account that says you're forwarding some of your emails to an account. Um, it's fine, it's fine. And then I'm gonna delete it. So um, I'm gonna send it to my delete folder. I could also mark this as red. I actually like that they're in my trash, and I'll show you this in a second, that they're in my trash and they're um, still black, they're still unread, um, because I think it's just, it's beneficial for that. Now, the one thing about that, it did not send this one to uh, Readwise. It won't send anything you've already received. So I'm just gonna hit forward, oops, let me get back down here. Hit forward, F for forward, again to that read, read at readwise.io, and then I'm gonna send an archive. All right, so I would just keep doing that all the way through my inbox account. I'm actually gonna unsubscribe from this. I don't know why I got, uh, why I keep getting these. There we go. <laughs> Their unsubscribe was actually in white. I love it when folks do stuff like this. Um, there we go. And that's actually in my um, inbox zero is about a process. Relentlessly unsubscribe from things that you don't want anymore. Um, and they've been really annoying. I've been getting a lot of emails from them. So this is my daily readwise. I've already done that for today. Um, I actually like to look at my Groupons every day, so I don't mind that. Um, I don't know, there might be something in this that I might want, so I'll forward that to Readwise. And anyway, you can see I just continue this process. Now, I, I stopped here, and that is 
to simply drag and drop. So I've got another of Susanna's workbooks here on my desktop. If I just drag this over here, it will also upload it. And then it will also be in my PDFs here in just a second. And it should, yeah, there it is. And it should also appear in my library. So both of these are also in the library. This is also a good place where I can show you that as you read through something, you get this little reading progress bar um, so that you can see items that are over here. Um, you can actually sort by um, that reading progress bar along with all of these other things. So up here in the top, sort of to the top right, the right hand third, um, you can sort by author, by category, by the last open, last move, last published, or date move, date published, date saved, length, progress, or title. You can also change any of those to recent, old, old, recent. Like if I go to author, I can do Z to A or A to Z, which is another really great thing. We'll go back to date save for right now. I want to um, also show you just how you actually interact with a specific article um, in your in your Readwise. So let's go to this Coinbase article, the one that I just um, did. And again, we're going to arrow down through it. So, all right, so if I hit um, T here to tag this or H to highlight it right now, it would actually tag and highlight this entire paragraph. I can actually get a little bit more granular if I do use my mouse. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to tag this with uh, crypto. And so I could continue reading this article. Um, I'm not all that interested in it. So I'm just going to hit E for archive because again, I did make highlights in it. And so I want to keep it. Um, let's go ahead and hit enter here for the politics of the Obama's official portrait unveiling and look at a couple of other things that we could do. So as I scroll through here, just doing this with my mouse, I can also tag images. So let's say that I want to tag this with presidents. Um, and then I'm going to hit escape. I'm not going to finish that right now, but again, I can see that I've already started it. So I could come back here and, and read just the things that I have in progress. I do want to show you some of the searches that you can do. Um, if you want to search in Readwise. Um, so let's say that I want to search for uh, Dan Doyen, I believe is how we call him. Yes, Daniel Doyen. Doyen. Daniel, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, and I know you as Dan now because I've talked to you. So Daniel's one of the founders of Readwise. You can see that I've got all of the private beta updates in here. Um, this is the newest one that I haven't completely read yet. Um, and so you can see all of the different things that are in here, but I could find that just by searching. So it's a very powerful search. I have not encountered anything yet that it can't handle when I'm trying to search. So I think I'll stop there for today. It's a fairly good comprehensive overview of the basic features of Readwise's new reader. Um, again, if you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. There are a load of things I didn't cover um, and I would love to do more videos if those are of interest to you. Um, so please do drop those in the chat below and I'll be happy to try to figure out the answer to your question. Don't forget, if you liked this video, like and subscribe and don't forget to check out those links in the description for affiliate links and links to other articles that might be relevant to this. Thanks everybody, have a great day.